What's cracking, y'all? It's one half of the Wake Up Crew. Ray G here to talk some college football prop plays over on Prize Picks. Use that promo code Wake Up below if you're a new user to Prize Picks to get a free hundred dollars if you put a hundred dollars in. If it's your first time on the channel, we don't make you pay for picks. I walk you through our process. We got a dope college football projection model. We show you our work. Take what you like, leave what you don't. All I do is ask that you hit the thumbs up button, comment below, let me know who you're playing. Subscribe to the channel for more dope prop plays, whether it's NFL or NBA. But before we get into the two plays that I'm recommending this weekend, I want to talk about what we discussed on the channel last Saturday. It was a good Saturday. Went three for four on Saturday on the plays that we talked about here on the channel. We took Bijan Robinson over 108 and a half rushing yards. He hit that. Max Duggan over 28 fantasy score for TCU. They had to do it in overtime, but he got it done finishing with right around 32, I believe. Zach Evans rushing yard total was 78 and a half. Rushing yards, he had 139 in the game. That's all Ole Miss wants to do is run the ball. The one miss was from USC, Travis Dye, over 82 and a half rushing yards. I think he had like 78, so barely missed that one. But three for four, if you mixed and matched, it was still a damn good Saturday. But let's talk about the plays that we got on tap for this weekend. And I want to start in the SEC, a number that I absolutely love, a player that I absolutely love. He's been good to us. If I could spell his name right, A-C-H-A-N-E. Devon A-Chain, the running back for Texas A&M. Loved the fantasy score more than 17 and a half. Now, you look at this, and he's he's only cleared this. Uh, he didn't clear this last game versus Alabama. Had 10.7, but 18.2 versus Mississippi State. 26.4 versus Arkansas. And then 23 versus Miami. In our projection model, we have A-Chain projected quite high. Now, he's facing the get. Facing off against South Carolina, who's currently 101st ranked defense against the run, giving up 174 yards per game. Texas A&M's, their passing attack is not working. Haynes King is probably going to start. You can beat South Carolina on the ground. When they faced a dynamic rusher from Arkansas and Raheem Sanders, he had 154 rushing yards against this team. I believe this is what Texas A&M has to do in order to to keep this game close. They're not going to outthrow South Carolina. And South Carolina's passing offense, they're facing against the 14th-ranked passing defense in college football in Texas A&M. I predict a slow, grinded-out game. A-Chain's going to have plenty of opportunities because he is by far A&M's best player, one of the highest usage rate players in all of college football. This fantasy score of 17.5, just too low for Devon A-Chain. So I'm taking more than 17.5 fantasy score for A-Chain in this SEC, in this SEC matchup. And I'm also going to talk about another running back for TCU, Kendra Miller. And I'm, I'm still kind of shocked that this is only at half a rushing touchdown versus Kansas State. K-State is 51st against the run in college football, giving up about 133 yards per game. But this is a game in which it's anticipated to reach a total of close to 60 points. Kendra Miller has hit this number every game this season. We haven't projected for 1.18 touchdowns in this matchup. One, one, two, one, two. He's going to get the ball inside the goal line. Him, Max Duggan. It's always a little roller coaster with TCU, but I do like Kendra Miller more than half a rushing touchdown. Now, Bijan Robinson, you got to get those lines a little bit early. It's crazy because we got Bijan a couple of days ago at 105 rushing yards, 105 and a half. It's up to 110. Still a little bit of juice here because a little bit of value here because on the books, I see this number anywhere from 109 and a half to 112 and a half versus Oklahoma State. It's the same thing we talked about last week. The Oklahoma State's rushing defense is not good. Bijan Robinson, I don't I still don't mind 110 and a half, not recommended as a core play. Really like the value in the edge that we got when you when you could lock that in at 105 and a half for Bijan Robinson. There are some other plays that I like, but not going to recommend them on the channel. These are the two. Kendra Miller, more than one and a half, more than a half a touchdown, and Devon A. Chain. More than 17 and a half fantasy score. And just to um, let me see, just let's let's pull it up real quick. Let's pull this up really quick. Uh, let's pull the model up. Here we go. So here's the model right here. Uh, Miller, you see, we haven't projected for 1.18 touchdowns. You can see far, far on the right, his fantasy score. Also, we haven't projected to go over that 15 and a half. Uh, we've got to project for 20.40. And then A chain, you see right here, we've got him projected for 109. Rushing yards in this matchup, close to one rushing touchdown. 149 combined rushing and receiving yards. He's going to get his through the air as well. Prize picks, 17 and a half fantasy score line. We haven't projected for 25.58 fantasy score. One of the highest edges in the model 
this weekend. And there is the data behind the Devon A. Chain play. So, as always, take what you like. If you like both of them, take both of them, power play them. If you don't like any of them, leave them there. All I do is ask that you hit a thumbs up button, subscribe, like the content. We're giving you this data for free. We don't make you pay for picks, none of that good stuff. Just comment below. Let me know what you're rocking with this weekend in college football, NBA, NFL, all that good stuff. Just let me know. We love the game. We love betting on it. Let's have some fun and win some money. So if you tell, give prize picks hell. And if we fail, do not bail. We'll be back. NFL picks Sunday. Let's get it. Matter of staying. Peace.